hey what's up so today in the studio we actually have a new controller right here called the it doesn't really have a, a, a specific name but if you want to search for it it's going to be called the code name stk um, 8039 and there's like four versions i noticed so it has the 2039 the wl2039 the 739 and then this is the one i have which is the stk 8039 and so when i'm looking at the price of this thing it's definitely going to be pretty solid it's got 20 20 dollars for the price and then i want to walk you through the features wireless connection turbo function six access gyros somato sensory adjustable vibration port compatible with uh switch switch light switch oled pc streaming dual vibration you could also use it with android it does have that uh, function where you can use turbo to do five shots at a time two 12 shots or 20 uh 800 milliamp hour battery it connects to your pc with the wired connect to pc uh, support all x inputs game modes on windows steam luna and, St and stadia it's also got support for xbox cloud and the switch oled console and it has this work with key liner app dead zone joystick to upgrade the directly in the app it also does have um you know adjustable colorful leds which has a breathe function and a long bright function the turbo mode i talked about as well as adjustable vibration haptic motor and then it's going to give you inside of the box the type c cable the joystick as well and the type c cable so i want to take a look at this let's go ahead open it up this is my first time actually checking it out but the package was i think it was bought used because you know shout out to my girlfriend for picking this up because she knows i like to game so i just wanted to go ahead and take a look at this controller after i've been having it for a little bit of time and wow look how good it feels in the hand especially with these grips on the bottom it's just like an xbox controller right here you can see it has and it says android uh, switch mode pc mode um you could do you know what i'm saying ios or you know apple mode and then it has the a and home button configuration so if you want to configure the buttons and so i like how they put that on the back to give you a better idea of how to work it but i really like that it's translucent and transparent i mean you could see right through it and it shows you every single detail of how it's built inside of the controller so it's it's really nice to look at. I really like the design of here. You get your joystick right here with the grips on the outside so that you can easily steer. You also have A, B, X, and Y start. It looks like a select button, home, turbo. That's the select button. So this is some type of other button. And then the top, you have the joystick, right, left, left button, right button, and the clicks on the joysticks so let's go ahead and see what you got the clamp on here as well which is going to hook on to the back of the um you know what i'm saying uh this thing right here and you basically pull it around i don't want to break it but you know that's how it would work you would basically place this right here oh there we go and then you could slide this right around and now you have the adjustable um part to use with your your handheld controller or you could use it without it you do get a type c cable inside the box as well as the stk 8039 frg uh, compatible with android apple pc ps4 ps3 and switch so i'm going to read this i'm going to pair it up to all the different modes that i possibly that i actually use and so after i do that we're going to go ahead and we're going to enjoy some gaming so make sure you guys stay locked in with me if you're brand new to the channel i truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new if you're already a part of the crew salute but i just want to remind you to type i'm still here if you made it to this part of the video and also remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people okay i'll get right back with you all right guys so i definitely thought that the v3 mode is going to be pretty cool that's usually the one i work with i also work with the xbox mode and so this thing has you know pc wired mode which i don't really mess around with but i definitely want to get into that it shows you how to reset um in case it, it does crash while playing a game you can also get the specifications here it tells you how to get the turbo buttons mode on here if you actually 
press the turbo button simultaneously with one of the um you know the function buttons and then if you want to adjust it you can press the turbo button up to make it faster down with the turbo button to make it slower and then to clear it you long hold the turbo button for five seconds and then it'll vibrate for one second and then like i said this is going to have everything it's going to be pair be usable with a lot of different platforms so the one that i actually mess around with is the you know xbox cloud in the v3 mode so i want to jump into how it works with the xbox cloud mode real quick and then i'll wrap up the video to set up the xbox mode on here you would long hold the right trigger and the home button i'm going to touch the right trigger and now press the home button you can see the led lights are blinking meaning that it's starting to pair up to the xbox controller mode and th this is very common with a lot of the controllers that i've been using is that they pair up in this fashion i want to actually unpair this xbox controller mode from my d6 that i was using and then you can see if i scan it again now it'll um, refresh it so now it'll just show up as one of the xbox controllers which is from here and then the li the lights will stop blinking when it's paired and i did get a vibration when those vibrate that vibration happens you can see the vibration motor it moves inside of there which is kind of cool so i'm going to go inside of my game pass let me turn the brightness all the way up so i don't have any issues seeing it then i'm going to go into game launcher go inside of the game pass right there and then i'm just going to wait for it it did disconnect the lights turned off so let's go ahead see what what happened there um, right trigger home button okay hit that to pair it again it's connected it says all right so we got the cloud we got um, a bunch of different games right here let's try forza 4 real quick so now it's paired you can see that the lights look absolutely stunning on this device so i really like it because you could use it in the pc mode you could use it with your ps4 or with your ps3 you can't use it wired with your xbox mode but you can use it wired with your computer and ps4 and ps3 is going to work pretty cool but i just the, i don't really have a ps3 or 4 so i'm not going to be getting into that today so i just wanted to show you that you can the, the modes that i do use it is the the android the v3 mode and the xbox mode but you also do get the nintendo switch mode as well so this manual is actually very straightforward for being in another language it also has two languages chinese on one side and then english on the other side and so it's going to be um pretty clear when it comes to actually setting it up and stuff like that so let me just wait for this to load up me into my menu where i'm able to play I'm starting to load up sync all my information from where i last played and you can see I'm using it on my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 just fine. And you can see that the LEDs look gorgeous. If you press this button, you'll get that long light, which will make it stay in one color for a longer period of time. And so you could just keep it at that light, the, the blue one. But if you if you turn, turn it off again, it's, it's going to turn off all the lights. And then I could keep it at the green. So it just depends on what color you like obviously so let's see what mode do i want to do you can go to the garage the buttons are very responsive i definitely want to test it out with mortal kombat so we could use the d-pad let's just go back wow this is crazy wait let me see let me look around and let me change the view Select Y rewinds. B is going to be back. A. There we go. So the right trigger is going to change the view. So I'll hit up. Let's keep the radio off for now. So this is going to be pretty crazy if you use it on a tablet. Um, it's definitely, oh, I missed that turn. 
It's definitely very realistic. X is to go back, right? Or is it Y? Yeah, you could press, go go back with Y. Use the left to aim. But this is very smooth right now. I got caught right there. So let's let's just check out some of the gameplay on here. I'm playing at a weird angle right now because of the way that it's sitting flat. Usually I have it propped up. But the directional is working very nicely. I just got caught. I may at least get one kill. The trigger didn't work right now, so I did something where I messed up the trigger. Right trigger, make that save it. Okay, cool. There we go. Mortal Kombat. So this controller is very solid. Like I said before, it's gonna give you iOS, Android, Switch, PC as well. They make this face a little bit closer. Now we're gonna use the D-pad. Wow, he went in. Okay. I don't know like any of the buttons off the top of my head, so I'm just kind of winging it. Oh, damn. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, round two. Okay, he's coming out to an early start. Okay. He's catching me off guard once again with those combos. I'm starting to get those combos down and stuff like that. Okay, okay. <laughs> got it, uh, got it. I got it in that game. I caught up. Oh, he did the low blow right there. Let's see if we can get the bicycle kick. Oh, crap. That's my best move is that bicycle kick. Oh, crap. It's real close right now. Oh. Yikes. That's crazy, yo. But these are my final thoughts on this controller. I definitely think that it's gonna be pretty solid overall as he rips me into pieces. But this is the controller right here from STK-8039. Uh, Let me know what you guys think about this thing in the comment section. I'm gonna check you guys later, but if you're still here, just type down below, I'm still here. So I know you're still kicking it with me and I just wanna remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the YouTube algorithm. But I'm gonna check you guys later and um, I'll see you in the next video, okay? Later, crew, peace.